Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Today I will be looking at one of the older figures in my collection. This is the NECA, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, Farewell to Arms, Ash Williams. Now, I adore the Evil Dead. It is one of my favourite franchises and Evil Dead 2 is up there with one of my favourite horror movies. It's probably up there with Alien and The Thing. And religiously, I used to, not so much now because I kind of... um. I kind of overindulged in it, but I used to watch this and American Werewolf for Halloween religiously, and I I I could quote you any of the lines and and any of the kind of gags, and it's just it's such a fun movie. It's it's a pure it's a pure product of the splat stick that came out of the eighties, and in no short order, thanks to Bruce Campbell, his acting is fantastic. He is so fucking theatrical, and you can't see anyone else playing Ash. Which is why I absolutely adore Dash versus the Evil Dead. But that's neither here nor there. I can buy this figure. I think this is the 25th anniversary edition. And I can buy it in a Dublin comic book store. And I had to pick it up. And it is awesome. So let's take a closer look at the figure. This is a amazing figure. I like the sculpting. Uh, some people think that the head is a bit too cartoony looking. I disagree. If, if you know anything about... Bruce Campbell, you know how theatrical he can be with his acting. And he, he's almost like a, a cartoon character personified. And they've done a really, really cool job with the um with the sculpting on the face. That that look, that look of shock and terror and madness. The the, the scene where he's like, You bastards! Give me back my hand. That's 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 what that's what that reminds me of, just that that scene. But yeah, the paintwork on this figure is fantastic. As you can see, the kind of blood, the dried blood, and, and the sweat. Just the level of detail in this figure is remarkable. Just some really, really nice detailing. The pants being dirty and ripped and just the belt buckle and it's just really cool. This is This is before, obviously, he turns into Hero Ash. And goes into the cellar after Henrietta. And like he get, he goes through all sorts of abuse while he's in this state. He's he's attacked by his demonic girlfriend and um the other survivors lock him up in the basement with Henrietta. And he just goes through so much shit and, and this figure captures that so well. There is a newer version of this guy, and there is more articulation. And one or two more accessories. I think he comes with a alternate head, the demon version of Ash. He comes with Linda's severed head and a tape recorder. And that's that's pretty cool, but I'm finding of late NECA have really knocked up the price of their collector's editions. So yeah, I, I think you're mainly paying for the box, the kind of windowed box when you're getting the new collector's editions. If you want to get it, get it. I definitely think that the uh the extra articulation would make it worth it, but I'm I'm kind of getting a bit miffed with the uh, increasing price on the uh, collector's editions. And yeah, the cool thing about this is he has interchangeable arms. Before I uh, I show you the other arm, I'm going to show you this. Um, a lot of people wonder how he got his hand infected. Well, it's actually because Linda bit it, and you can actually see you can actually see the bite mark right there. Yeah, Linda's severed head bit his hand. And that's how it got infected with evil. So, okay, so his hand's been infected and he's he starts baiting himself over the head with plates. And then he, he cuts it off with the chainsaw. And then we have this. This is where he uses, I, I think, a couple of tea towels to tie up his hand. And it, it's pretty cool, the, the dirty rag that the, uh, the stump is covered in. Uh, zoom in. Just really nice detailing on the the rag. And there we go. There we go. Much better. I think. Come on, focus. I hate you, camera. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just really nice paintwork on that. I, I don't know if you can see it properly, but just really nice job on the dirty rag that he covers up his hand. There we go. There we go. So yeah, that's the uh, the filthy rag he uses to 
cover his severed hand. Don't know if that's the most hygienic thing to do, but still. So yeah, that's his interchangeable arm. He also comes with three other accessories. He comes with the boomstick. This is before he cuts it down. And yeah, I I kind of fucked up putting it in and out of his fingers and uh it broke off the trigger and snapped the trigger guard, but still, still works. Really nice kind of detail on it. The wood stock, nice finish on the on the shotgun's wood stock. And I'll just get my finger out of there and see if we can focus in a bit. There we go. Yeah, really nice paint job. Uh the figure, this figure and its accessories have a really nice kind of job done with the paint. As I said, you can you can figure it in. Nice and snug there. Uh, one thing I found with shotgun is though, it stretched out the hand a bit too much. So one of the other accessories that he comes with doesn't fit in as snug. And that accessory is this axe. And yeah, this axe is kind of uh kind of shows what happened to Evil Ed. Uh I think the guy who played Evil Ed was a QVC host. And yeah, basically Ash fucking baits him across the town with this uh, axe. And to avoid getting an X-rating, actually, Sam Remy was clever. He made, he did have red blood in it, but when there was like gallons upon gallons of gushing blood, he made it green, he made it overtly red, he made it black, so he could get past the MPA. And yeah, that's, that's his, uh, that's his axe, which he uses to cut up. Evil Ed. And lastly, he comes with his evil hand, which is really cool. The bone sticking out there. And uh, another cool thing, the level of detailing. There's the uh, hole where he impaled it with a knife. And there's the hole in the bottom where the blade came through. This is really, really cool little accessory. Um, really cool figures except with some cool accessories. I think, I think we should have got maybe the actual book farewell to arms and a bucket as well that doesn't even come with the ultimate edition but still it's a cool figure with some cool accessories and if you're an evil dead 2 fan uh maybe try tracking this down on ebay uh although it may be even dearer than the uh ultimate edition now but if you can do try and track down this figure um i i just like how disheveled ash is he's not totally like Badass Ash, yet he's not in the chainsaw handed Ash, but uh, it's still it's still a fairly cool figure. And if you're an Evil Dead Two fan, do try and track this down. If the if this original 25th anniversary edition is too dear, maybe you'll have to bite the bullet and get the ultimate edition. But uh, yeah, definitely a must for any kind of Evil Dead or Evil Dead Two enthusiast. So my name is Martin. This has been the Trash Picture Show. Have you got this figure, or have you any of the other NECA Evil Dead? Two figures. If you do, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.